Okay, good morning, Uganda. Good afternoon, Malaysia. Your Excellency, the High Commission of Malaysia to Kenya, Great Uganda. Your Excellency, Haji Kajimu, the Honorary Consulate of you, Malaysia to Uganda. My colleagues, um, presenters, businessmen and women, Malaysia and Uganda. I greet you from Uganda. I've already been introduced. I don't need to be introduced. I am the President of Uganda Chamber of Commerce Industry. And I'm going to be talking about leveraging on Uganda to penetrate East and Central Africa, as you can see on the screens. But first of all, let me tell you uh, about the Chamber of Commerce, because I represent the Chamber of Commerce on this panel. The Chamber of Commerce industry in Uganda is the oldest private membership organization, started way back in the 1930s. And uh, we have a vision, as you can see, we have a mission, I don't have to go through that. And we have membership close to 40,000. And when I say membership, these are more sectoral, meaning that you've got um, traders, you've got uh, manufacturers, you've got individual companies. And you are not only allocated in Kampala. We have outreach in most part of Uganda. So when you come to invest in Uganda, you have access to all these membership you're talking about outside Kampala. Next. And we have service we provide to our members, and when the marriage come to invest in Uganda, we also serve you. We do research, we do market access, and I think today is one of the things we're going to be doing and, uh, with my colleagues. We do advocacy for business environment uh, for our members. And the other services we do is that we issue certificate of origins, we do business ne networks, we do facilitate um, uh, trade missions and um, incoming and outgoing. Uh, so basically, that, that's what we do. But of course, you get the details in the in the in the presentation. Now, to between Malaysia and Uganda, we have a lot in common. Histor uh, historically, we belong to the British colony, although we are not colonized, we are uh, protectorate. And I think we got independence of almost about the same time. Uh, we have since signed different bilateral agreements. Uh, in 1998, we signed a technical and a cultural cooperation agreement. And during the Chogam in Australia 2011, we signed one for standards. Uh, so that goes to show the, the importance Uganda and um, Malaysia has, I mean, the, the, the strong economic uh, cooperations. A lot of companies have set up in Uganda, many companies. Uh, we have a university, we have companies that deal in palm oils, and uh, of course we have an embassy in, uh, in Kuala Lumpur. And um, so we have those relationships. We, unfortunately, we import more than we export. We import furniture, we import household, we import chemicals, we import uh, oils. And for exports, we export a lot of cocoa, we export rubber as well, uh, oils, fish, meaning uh, uh, fresh fish. But there is a trade imbalance. We were exporting more uh, to a tune of um, $91 million up to 2020, according to the Comtrade Trade. 2020, United Nations. So, what do we do? And I'm glad here talking about how the Marais can uh, penetrate East and Central Africa. Uganda is uh, landlocked, but I would say it's also landlinked. So the opportunities, when you say Central Africa, we actually land linked to Central Africa, some country Central Africa. And as you might be aware, there is uh, African trade uh, after here we call it after African continental free trade. Uganda was one of the countries that uh, rectified the, the trade, which is going to open opportunities in Africa. And um, there are going to be some tariffs, uh, the, the removal of tariffs on 90% of goods, depending on what one is doing. And uh, currently, Uganda is working on the implementation of this uh, uh, Africa trade of free trade. And then, of course, there is the East African community, where we belong with the preparation of 
slightly under 180 million people. And Uganda is one, again, of the, I would say, the founding members of the Southern community. We're also members of COMESA. The reason I'm mentioning all these blocks is because I'm trying to tell you the number of people that you can do business with if you are to, um, uh, to invest in Uganda. Uganda government has actually uh, invested heavily in the areas of uh, infrastructure, um, meaning that uh, you can actually invest in Uganda and supply all these neighboring countries in central. I'll give an example of uh, DRC Congo, which is, is huge. Uh, recently, the two countries signed of some a road that is going to be linking us to DRC Congo and uh, there are lot of opportunities. One of, it's one of our biggest um, importer of our goods. We also have Free Zone, which was launched in 2014, currently it's an ongoing, so you can actually uh, invest in the special economic zone, which is close to the airport. And uh, the, uh, the free zone you can export. You don't have to, uh, to, 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 to pay all these other taxes. There are uh, a lot of incentives when you enter the free zone. But I think my colleague in Uganda Investment Authority can, uh, you know, is going to be talking about those uh, incentives, which include, uh, among other things, import duty on machinery um, and um, raw materials. Therefore, Uganda is uh, a very conducive uh, country to invest in. And as you know, um, business cannot prosper if it is in a stable environment. Uganda enjoys peace and stability. And I'm very proud to say that our president recently even got an award for that. Because where you have conflict, you can't do business. And uh, Uganda is, uh, I think, what made the Sub-Saharan Africa, we are, I would say, number one in terms of uh, peace and stability. So if you invested in Uganda, you'll be able to prosper without having to, to go uh, through the conflicts. The population of Uganda is uh, over 40 million people, and uh, they, we have the youngest uh, population skilled and educated. It's, I think, 75% of our population is trainable and it's affordable. So you really have a market of uh, a workforce and, um, and, and, and uh, labor. Uganda is, uh, again, uh, I'm proud to say that uh, uh, Churchill, because you people are British, uh, a British colony. So Winston Churchill named the power of Africa, because we are the best. And Uganda is uh, covered in water, is land and water, but there's more water than the land. We have 33 square kilometers of fresh water around us. We are the home of Lake Victoria, which is one of the largest lakes in Africa or in the world. We are the home of the source of the Nile, which is the longest river in the world. We are the home of the famous mountain gorillas. And also we have um, special species of uh, chimpanzees that you can't find elsewhere. These are found in the Queen Elizabeth. Uh, it's actually called the, the gorge in, in Queen Elizabeth. I'm telling you about this in terms of uh, tourism. And of course, we have also the big five, which you can find in all the national parks, like Queen Elizabeth, Kidepo, Mission Falls. You find the, 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 the big five. And of course, those of you who are bird watchers, who like bird watching, we've got quite a number of birds that you can watch. And um, so Uganda is ready for you. 
Uh, one thing I should need probably to add on, which is not on the, on the screen, is that um, we are looking to have you invest in value addition. In the first slide, I think we talked about the export to Malaysia. We are exporting um, cocoa, coffee in the raw form. But we know that uh, Malaysia has done a great deal in terms of uh, value addition. So please invest here, add value to cocoa, add value to coffee, add value to rubber, and you have all these surrounding countries that you can export to. You can even re-export to Malaysia if you want. So come to Uganda, set up in Uganda, and you have access to these central and these other companies, uh, countries I've mentioned. I'd like to thank you and welcome you to Uganda. We are to your service as a Chamber of Commerce. If you need any more information, please feel free to contact us and you're most welcome.